The Outer Limits, 1963, The Inheritors, 1, Man, in troubled places of the world, or devil's hunter, finds rare game, for man-made savagery is the only instrument f- the secret sh- terror stirring from its dark place of ambush, four square to maze the sea, four square to maze the sea, come in maze the sea, indistinct communication, triangulate from S- Dash 9-2, S-9-2, indistinct communication, yeah, save some for me, out, come fire, continues, machine gun, firing, surgeon, why isn't he dead, half flown, half around the world, a slow brainwave, pattern developing, surgeon, what are you, we attempting to, what we attempting to remove is embedded in cerebrum, EGG humming, the surgeon, that, there it is, another brainwave pattern, Never brain, Mr. Ballard, a alien brain. There are two brains in the tenant's head now. Man, there's nothing wrong with your television set. Do not attempt to adjust the picture with your controlling transmission. For the next hour, control all you see and hear. You're about to experience the awe and mystery which reaches from the inner mind to outer limits. Good morning, madam. Good morning, sir. Puzzling, isn't it? I put to get it together in a hurry. You can you keep keeping secrets from me? You've been busy on the up. On the hill, Mr. Secretary, I prepared a presentation important. Yes, sir, I think so, and puzzling. I let you see for yourself, ready? Far away, Adam, is Lieutenant Philip J. Mains, brought back from the front with a bullet in his brain. He was operated on Sunday two hours ago. He's still in a coma. He's doing fine, according to the medics. That's his echocrograph. Normal brain waves, two brains, sir, bear with me. I want to present you to this you in sequence. First such case, exactly like the tenant, wounded with a bullet in the head. Should have been dead and didn't. Died and didn't. Sergeant James Coldover. Flown here to uh, here to Washington last February thirteenth for surgery. For the same war front. Is the brain dual brain has way pattern. Next private class, first class Francis Headley. February twenty sixth, same bit. Everything same, April 10th, a month ago, private with Robert Renendo. Interesting, isn't it? Yes. That's only the beginning. Now, see the thin, weak of weight pattern in each? Yes. There, the individual's own brain waves. Watch when we take them away. Those are the strangest, the alien patterns. If you superpose one on top of the other, you come up with one, just one pattern, just one alien brain. What is it, Adam? Some kind of freak? No, sir, it's no freak, not a freak. It's more than just a coincidence. These four men are medical miracles. They had bullets in their brains, should have died and didn't. The, then the bullets were removed, another brain. Intelligence got in and took over. I mean intelligence. Three of his men developed IQs over 200. Over 200, yes, sir. Above genius level. What have they been doing? I don't know. Where are they now? Gone. They yeah, up and went. No precautions were taken with Henley and Kovara. There wasn't any need to. Precautions were taken with Ricardo for all the good it did. When he went it out, he just walked. Couldn't find any out why the hospital guards didn't stop him. Once, no, sir. When was that nine, nine days ago? One plate of similarity. Nine, each man had a bullet in his brain tissue. Secondly, you see a small four way star at the base. Stamped on, apparently. Hand stamped. It's on all of them. Did I did just what you I did what you would have done. I had them analyzed. We had to go to the manalytic lab. Why? What do you think those stars mean? Probably just a ma- ma- pace of manufacture. Oh you made inquiries about that. Main thing is the bullets themselves, the structure of the metal. Fake buzzing Adam. Cross section of the molecular structure. The bullets enlarged ten hundred thousand times. See the honeycomb effect? Circular so, yes. What is it? You don't know. We thought the air bubbles, don't we? It was air bubbles, don't we, Professor Winsett? Winsett, they're too symmetrical. I thought it was a, sm- it was a smelting process. There'd been a lot of it. Backyard pudding, pudding furnaces to keep the wall, help the wall effort. But you couldn't make that kind of pattern. There's not like anything I've ever seen. If I had a strip sample at all, this metal was refined. It's raw metal. No, it's just iron and lead, lead and iron. Structure of the medicals, Mr. Branch. Pattern, the honeycomb cerebrometry. Looks like the shells or something, it doesn't it? As though there's something in there one time. Now it's gone. 
as though it leaked out the honey of the comb. Is that all of it? Yes, sir. Don't you think this may have an instant explanation? Adam, no, sir, I don't. I'm not against further inquiry on a scientific level. What have you got in mind? Fear Barrow's security can help us find missing men without publicity. Precautionary cards, lots of them, should be placed at the turn of men's. You'll be recouping in a few weeks. A few weeks, what else? Another problem. What Professor Mernzett needs, the oil from which those bullets are made, they seem ready to go around the world to find it. Seem ready to go around the world to find it, yes, sir. Don't know what we're dealing with, with enemies. But I have to soon worse. Good afternoon, Mr. Bullard. It means, how are you? I feel fine. The other days after surgery, yes. Remarkable, isn't it? Yes. But that, that whole thing has been remarkable. Yes, it has. Lucky man, I'm also grateful. Now my body's recuperating from a terrible shock. Yet I have this sense, wonderful sense of physical well-being. Maybe that goes with the rising HQ. Struggling to understand my IQ is going up. That's funny because I don't feel smarter. No, I have no special interest like others, biochemistry, metallurgy, physics, no. And all best ballad. My co seems destined to be wasted. So you're interested in the others. Why should I be? Well, not particularly. But I am curious about you. Why? What do you want to know about me? What do you expect about me, Miss Ballard? You're trying to make some connection between those other three and me. Yes, I am. But why do you think I suspect anything? Something? Why because it's been Ballard? Why, why all the guards? Why this kind of, kind of sort of probing? What are you going to do when you get out? I really haven't thought about it. I'm pretty happy right here. Good food, pretty vet, fine medical attention, pretty nurses. Anybody waiting for you? Just have checked my, you must have checked my records. I have no family. It wouldn't show a girl. No, oh, no, nobody waiting for me. None of those other men have any ties either. Link of the link, so many things in common. There's got to be a reason. Is that Mr. Bullard? No clue, Lieutenant. No inkling what it may be. Something in your head. Something guiding you, pointing you, directing you. No. Are you reading? Are you reading? Just something I've found in the library. I have a curiosity. Morgan's Fractal Analysis of Current Percentage of Finance, Miss Bullard. Captain Neuron, AEIL. Glad to meet you, Captain. This man we've been waiting for. He's the Cobalt Master of Gorilla Supply Depot. Pressed into sniper duty. Be most sensitive to police. Last, he cannot speak English. He knows where the bullets are made, yes. There is a concentration of black yard pudding furnaces. He comes from a, such an district himself. How many districts are there, Captain? Forty, fifty, maybe sixty. Then they all we're looking for could be any from anywhere. The same thought occurred to me, Mr. Ballard. Crystal Prisoner explained this this is not so. All users of all the districts came from one the same place. When the great fire in the sky. Where is that? What kind of place is that? It's a whole tongue for Florence. Is it far? Not very. Let's get going. I'm here for simple that I have here for simple that all rather I thought it was clear when I explained to you. It was in a whole pot tongue province, buying enemy lines. But I can't ask you to come along. But if you give me instructions you cannot go. I can I come a long way to get a few more s- to, to get a few more miles to stop me. You gotta go, sir, even if I consent to allow you to be suicide. This theatre of war is totally unlike any other you've never known before. Why? You'll be even if you are determined. Shall we go? Gunfights, rugged. How far now? Close. I'll be in Hong Kong, servants. It's just a matter of remembering the place now. Gunshot, thanks. Very sneaky, those Normaners. This way, I think, is a crater. This is a place. A place the great fire and sky kept in shore it was. It would be sure. Yes, of course, indeed, you, I thought you understood. I remember it when I was a young man. Not much left of it now. It's well enough, isn't it? There's some, sort of, there's some substance in the pockets of what we call them honeycombs at 200,000 millimeters. It, there's lo- some loss of resolution. Honeycomb effect is not familiar. Measure inside is not familiar either. Yet there's something familiar without the whole of it. I can recognize a considerably altered form, area and factor. Basically, the genes of chromosomes contain, transmit, hereditary characteristics. What does that mean? In, does that mean in this case for well, those dual wave patterns? Well, is it voice? I say these particles probably may affect mentality, intelligence. What are they hitting on life-giving factors? May they contain or compulsions or tendencies or capabilities? I don't know. 
I would say based on IQ, the soul of men may achieve intelligence. Knowledge of capability is far beyond think mankind has ever known. Now the tenant means you know you're not supposed to get your buzzing. You don't want to disturb anybody. Would you help me with this, please? Of course. Thank you. Would you get my blouse, please? Of course. Knocking my guard, let him in. Right. Everything all right? Oh, yes, of course. Hold on, Lieutenant. Got orders. Not. It's uh, turning on, on buzzing. Is there anything I do? There's none of you between here and the gate. Just don't want to cause his servants when I leave. Will you please? I had 20 men. 30 men in, in and around that hospital. Not one of them gave me any information at all. Not one he remembers seeing Lieutenant Mins. You must have gone right up by his past 12 guards. And then it's the guards. And can't give us a thing. Tell us a thing. Patient believes he saw a uniformed man walking down the hall of the guard. The visitor thinks he caught a glimpse of him. That's it. Probably hypnosis. And there's nothing. There's no telling what the brains keep on doing. Sighed, well, now he's gone. That's a fact. Wherever it is, it's started. Now he's part of it. Well, Mr. Barnes, do you think there's no connection between the four men? No concerted effort? No plot? I always understood your position, Adam. Possibilities increase. There's a common design among these men. I think you ought to pull, put full time on it, and it was soon this officer, full responsibility in a manner. What's your plans? I don't know that lieutenant to the others we are trying to find. Do you know what How's it going to be raised? A hue and cry. What have you done? Is that what you're, they're doing? Is what they're doing? Is that men's? Could be capable of be any place by now. They waited to back to the Congo, cold water flat in London. Don't, we don't recommend community futures, as that means, respective. I know some brokers are high, are high on them, but for beginning investors, I've done a little studying, and now I want to take a little fling. How about you say, how much did you say, $500? Well, you haven't got in mind, just think about buying 2,000 bushels of wheat. You realize in this time, make me divide, to take me to write the order, you would write, you could be wiped out. There's currency prices. So there's move like grease lightning for the lieutenant. So I understand. You will never be able to say you didn't warn me, Mr. Jessup. Let's see. The price is one point four three a bushel. Down seven cents from the opening. It's gone down the limit for four straight sessions now. Oh, do you think I don't? It won't go down some more? Why, it's pattern. Mr. Jessup, sell at one sixty, please. Buy soybeans at two thirty. Use all the money, Mr. Jessup. Sell corn and buy cotton. Is that something called pyramiding? A bit more than $24,000 in your account. It's pretty sensational for seven trading days. Mr. Jessup, would you buy me average of cost at 14 cents? I would cut a mine making stock. Don't you think it's speculative? Have you heard anything? No, Mr. Jessup. Just my own figures. One clear 257 share. How could you help? How could you help hearing? It's all over the street. Well, how a man could ever own, could ever own stock for his life starting with five hundred dollars? You know, Bullard, I'll, I'll give him a gash eyes check. Wednesday morning, in front, the amount of four hundred five five dash five two seven dollars and one fifteen cents. Do your faith in nature's economy? So the thing is still possible. That's him, a nice guy, really nice guy. Did you do anything wrong? I tell you, you never did anything wrong here. Do you know want to know? Ever seen any of them? No. PSE, C. Francis Hadley, Private Berber, Randando, Sergeant James Culver. Never saw or heard of them. Bank, Highland Bank, Trust Company drafts. And means of quest $250 was sent to Swedish account, James Bank, Stockholm account of James Culver. Drafted $90,000 to Tokyo Guarantee Trust, account of Robert Randando. A draft of $188,000 to Candice Bank, which is good account of Francis Hadley. Address on the tenant? No. Was he hiding, trying to hide anything? According to the vice president of the bank, the tenant was above board. Everything he did, didn't even change, try to change his name. VP was willing to bet he was a completely trustworthy man. He's a banker. He shouldn't gamble. Hello, Mr. Larkin. What's that smell? Part of my experiments. I didn't, didn't realise it's too late. Too, too late. Too late. You dropped me off to the airport on your way back. Got a plane to catch. Ah, oh, Henley. I come, I'm going out of the country. You aren't you interested in what, what happened, bank? And that draft in New York came through, that's good. Well, I don't send you, Headley. It's worth $88,000. It's 
Is it? Well, the property now only costs 140000 Imagine the rest of the money is for parts and equipment and expenses. You know, you sure surprised me. Seeing you did this didn't inspire me with confidence. You come up with 140000 especially after haggling over over 30, mo- 30 a month. you are paying for this room. What are you working on? Oh, experimenting. Got people who believe in you. Putting in that kind of money? What kind of experimenting gas compounds? So they curbs the corn debts. Pressure of them fears well. You own, you're now an official owner of 35,000 square feet on its abandoned lo- factory in Wichita County and hair made for the laboratory. What is this? A new kind of air conditioning. Air conditioning, a matter of speaking, I guess it is, Mr. Larkin. You've heard of your inventions. You're sure of those mound. Don't suppose your backers would be interested in a little investment for me. Honey, well, you could put you in the world, Mr. Larkin. You got it, this all wrong. I have no backers that I know of. There isn't an invent, any invention. This isn't any invention. It's just some experimenting. That's why I'm going, to, going on this trip. I'm looking for a special herb. Recognizance. It's been reported along the lambs in Brazil. Mr. Larkin, you're supposed to sign those papers and give me a copy. Well, only yes, but I have second thoughts. Your property is worth more than you're paying. I suppose you've asked. I've said I've had second thoughts. I want $200,000. Renee on a deal? But you got the other money easily. You don't go and get this? No. I've no time now. I've got a plane to catch. I won't come wait, Mr. Loggin. I've no time to argue. I want you to sign these papers. You want? You don't, don't, now don't threaten me, Henley. I know this young generation. Young generation, no respect for the insights of the individual. Carry this with me all the time, Mr. Loggin. Anyway, that you can use that gun is on yourself with electrical, electrical buzzing. But you have a choice, Mr. Loggin. You sign the papers, or you can pull the trigger. I sign, thank you. Well, don't you, why don't you load with a gun? Please, can't you hurry, Mr. Larkin? I, want, I can't, don't want to miss my plane. Let's take a look at this laboratory. It's over here. There, yeah, the thought he's going to do anything against the law. I wouldn't have let him want to have a room. He don't know he's going, done anything against the law. Don't jump to conclusions. You told us everything you know, Mr. Larkin. Will you excuse us? Sure, sure. We expect, what do you expect from biochemists, isn't it? Um, yes. Uh, these look like air ducts of some kind. Looks like experimenting with air gas, inert gas. Doesn't look like he's running out of here, this. Bending to come back. Yes, want me to go to Stockholm with you? So I know. Think you should concentrate on Mins. Think he's leader of this thing. Call later. Call later. Think he's left New York with parts unknown. I agree. Which makes him funny, him of choice assignment. Well, uh, isn't it? Uh, well, aren't you worried? By fighting alone battle for this thing, they're saying it could be a f- terrible threat. That's Handley. Well, I don't know him. Either him either. And I ever saw him. Falk holds standing. Looks like a vehicle of some sort. A room here. Two rooms of areas. Sides, I don't understand. Some of the destinations. Did you cover the design it? British accent. He came, first came to me. I thought he was a jokester. For the years they're still making. They haven't seen anything like them. Impractical things. I told him flatly impossible things. He showed me how to make them. He made, he knows things nobody ever dreamed of. Faint sound of foghorn, aerial steel, very light. So now he said, "Best of Ballard, those three elements which don't which don't unite, but which he did unite. Second, of sweaty thick weights which totaled more than his finished product. What's that? He took three more three weights of metal and put them together. It weighed less than one tenth of the combined weights. Yeah." Do you want to hear the third incredible thing? Go on, what, what do you hold in your hand? Has two parts, not one. Can you see the place of joining? Here, uh-huh. No mess of easing to me. No way, there's no welding. The things are polarised together. If it's perfectly, you say one piece. Piece is stronger than the strongest commercial oil I made. Lighter than the lightest magnesium alloy. And maybe more heat and cold resistant. Any metal known? You're making them for Covoya? J.J. for three were fabricating them. They were tremendously costly. Laughed, but the money didn't seem to bother him. Brilliant mess of Bullard. A sad one. Sad, I like him. I like him for the kind of many years. He said, Mr. Bullard, trouble man. Trouble by what he's doing. But when I asked him to explain what he's about, he could not tell me. Could not? Could not. And if he's though, as though, as though what? The devil had him under his thumb. Funny, he had no chance to get out of his, of his own man. Excuse me? Don't think I express myself well. You were looking fine. He's late. He's always here at half past late in the morning. He hasn't missed the morning ever since he came. 
Except today, do you know we were anxious to see him? I don't know how he could have known. But yes, I think he did. Church bell was ringing. Father, Son, the Holy Ghost, Holy Mother, Mother of God, pray for our sins. Now the hour of our death. Amen. Should be grateful I'm alive. I was at death's door, I looked death in the face. It is your will, this this thing inside my head. It creates new wonderful things. Makes me do things of such beauty. Can't be bad. No, it's not bad. No, it's no good, it's good. Is it God think knocking? No, uh, knocking, knocking continues. Well, Mr. Bullard, hello, Renando. Been a while, yes. Yeah. Been here all the time, yes, practically. Sit down, Mr. Bullard, sit down. A guy with a big brain like mine. I've got a lot of respect for you. Have a drink. No. Ain't wrong, Renando, no. What could be what could be wrong? I'm celebrating. Just in my mission, whatever that is. I guess it's what is it? Some kind of motive de- motive device. Glass, huh? Hey, well, was I right? Didn't I don't I know my IQs? You couldn't tell just by looking, Mr. Bullard. How did you know? I guess. Coughs. You did? How did you spare me a system of air conditioning? Convert vehicle design and methodology. Obviously, whatever it's been planned needs a motor. The last one with, a gi- with this gift up here, next to last. What is it? Who's the last? You know, no, Lieutenant Philip Mins. He's the one who sent me the money, yes. And that's how you found me. Not that I was hiding. Well, it's showing me what it does. There's something ever connected with this thing. You need to know, Sonny, you learn. If you need money, Sonny, you need to get money, everything. Anything to finish the job, the project, nothing to stop it. If you want to get off the bill back, you want to walk out on it, oh no, you can't do that, you're hot. Your monkey's got you. You do whatever's inside your head, no matter what, hey, hey, your insides are busting. Look at over shouting, look, why don't you take a drink? What's this bullard? His motor power, there's nothing you've ever seen, no fuel, no counter moving parts, buzzing, literally humming. And I said, bullard, I beat gravity, I pull the earth. And I said, bullard, you can stop fighting. We're going home. We're going to put up, up an end to this project. What did you say, Mr. Bullard? We're going to put an end to this project. Electronic humming. I don't know what's happened. I was talking to Ronaldo in Tokyo. Last thing I remember. Now I'm in this and memorable day race. It was more than two weeks. It'd been frantic. We put on searches. Couldn't find you. We'll catch the next plane from Washington. Let me sum it up then. We're just going to chemical laboratory, band factory, biochemist experimenting, air components, gases and atmospheric coordinates. Is that right? Amazing. I'm missing biochemists. Banished it up to the Amazon. We're going to be a hub called Raspberry Colonesis. Stockholm vehicle design. Metal lighter. Then wood. And struggle to steel. A missing megalagolist. We had no lead on him. Don't believe in Sweden. Nor in this country. Tokyo, an anti-gravity device. Harris, and a missing physicist. See, Maurice, what's going on? Each man working independently under the compulsion to the brain. Each one giving the appearance of not hiding. Um, you, they use their known names, being honest. Above board, if they've got good men. I heard this expression several times. Go on, Adam. Each him is a fervent, the month in his brain. True to which structs, coordinates, projects, projects the project. Well, the project is the oppression that these men hate what has happened to them. Hate what they're do, it doing, even as they're willing to do it. It's not just frightening, it's terrifying. The men are tormented and able to control themselves. Be charming if they would have to be. Vicious they must. But whatever dark and evil purpose their efforts are leading them towards. Lieutenant, Lieutenant, how do you know I'm a... No, I'm a Lieutenant Johnny. How do you know I'm Johnny? How can I... What can I do for you? I want... To, I want to go with you. Do you, Johnny? Do you know where I'm going? I don't care. Far away, Johnny, on a starship. Far away. Do you want to take me, Mr. Yes, Johnny? I want to take you, tired, screeching, not say, Adam. Second floor, apartment 17. Is Min's there? No, but it's 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 his place. Got 12 men in the street. Three cars from here to the corner. Two on each side and one opposite. You're going to go inside? It's going to be along any time. All set, man, man. Looks up the stairs and dreams his fertile dreams. Children of the universe, he toys or ignorance, his feigns fancy. Not even his master, he's not even master of his own fate. If the devil's puppet is, he stretches his fingers to answer the question, what will happen next? We now return your control, you turn set to your until next week. 
Stay in time when the control voice will take you to the outer limit.